Hey guys, it's John from Wrestling Thailand Shop, and welcome back to the channel. Going to do today in uh, wrestling history for us the 29th and the 30th. We missed yesterday. On this, we're going to start with the 29th. On this day in 1986, Nick Buckwinkle was awarded the AWA World Heavyweight Champion in Denver, Colorado, with a four-foot win over a uh, four-foot win over uh, Stan Hansen. The reality was that Stanson had walked out of the AWA over his loyalty to all Japan Pro Wrestling. As a, as a response to perceived sight, Hanson, who was still in possession of the title, laid it on his driveway and ran over it with his truck and then mailed, it, mailed the remains back to uh, AWA uh, owner Vern Gagne. On his day in 1998, the uh, day after losing the WWF Championship to Kane at King of the Ring in a first blood match, Stone Cold Steve Austin won the title back on Raw from Cleveland, Ohio. On this day in 1999, on an episode of Raleigh's War uh, in Fayetteville, North Carolina, Matt and Jeff, the Hardy Boys, defeated the APA Bradshaw in Peru to win the first ever, uh, their first ever tag team championships. On this day in 2008, the uh, WWE Night of Champions pay-per-view took place in uh, the American Airlines Arena in Dallas, Texas. On the night that every title in the company was defended, the three title changes took hand, changed hands. Mark Henry won the ECW champion in a triple threat match against Kane and the Big Show. And Kofi, Kofi Kingston defeated Chris Jericho to win the IC title. The most intriguing title switch of the night saw Hardcore Holly and Cody Rose defend the World Tag Team Champions against uh, Ted DiBiase and a mystery partner. The mystery partner uh, turned out to be uh, Cody Rhodes. Do you remember that? I remember that. He basically turned on... Uh, uh, Bob Holly, and that started the legacy run with uh, Cody Rhodes, uh, Ted DiBiase, and Randy Orton. Randy Orton, yeah. And on this day in 2013, at a TNA Impact taping in Las Vegas, Chris Saban defeated Austin Aries <clears throat> and M Manic in a triple threat match to win the X Division Championship. On this day in 2015, uh, Monday Night Raw from Washington, D.C., John Cena's latest United States Championship uh, cha open challenge was answered by Cesaro. The two went to a 20 minute draw with Kevin Owens who was guest uh, on uh, commentary. He interfered. I guess he interfered. I don't know. That's what it says. But I don't know how you can have a draw and have somebody interfere. But anyway, we'll go along with it. And on this day in 2018, uh, Ring of Honor's Best in the World uh, 2018 took place in Baltimore, Maryland. The main event saw Dalton Castle Successfully defend the ROH uh, World Champion in a three-way match against Marty Scroll and Cody Rhodes. And that's going to wrap up today in wrestling history for the 29th. We'll switch to the 30th now. On this day in 1961, in a match dubbed the Match of the Century in Chicago, the Nature Boy Buddy Rogers defeated Pat O'Connor in a two out of three falls match to win the NWA World Championship match. The, the, 30, the 38,000 uh, in, in attendance and the $148,000 gate would be the wrestling record that would stand until the WrestleMania era in the 1980s. That's pretty good. <clears throat> On this day in 1995, Jim Thor in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, Raven and Stevie Richards defeated the public enemy Rocco Rock and Johnny Grunts when the ECW Tag Team Champions. On this day in 2003, Gail Kim made her WWE debut on Raw by winning the women's... Uh, World Championship in a seven women battle royal. She last eliminated Victoria for the victory. And on this day in 2008, after being uh, moved to Raw in the prior week's draft, CM Punk made his debut on the show by cashing in the Money in the Bank briefcase to defeat Edge for the World Heavyweight Champion after Edge was laid out by Batista. On this day in 2009, Sheamus, 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 Sheamus made his uh, WWE debut in a squash match against Oliver John on the ECW brand. And on this day in 2014, AJ Lee made her first in-ring appearance since April to defeat Paige for the Divas Championship on Raw in Connecticut in just 61 seconds. And that's going to wrap up today in wrestling history, guys. We might come back out here later tonight after we watch uh, The Forbidden Door. We're getting ready. The pre-show is on right now, but we're going to go in here and watch it and maybe let this shop cool down a little bit because it's warm thanks for watching guys like and subscribe